Let's delve into Alina Haba's defense of Trump. Lawyers here today. He should not even be here today because he did nothing wrong. It is the epitome of a witch hunt. I just left where a judge asked us whether our cash, cash bond, cash sitting in. Ms. James wants to argue and say that our cash somehow isn't green. We wasted time. The judge made a comment saying he thought that money market accounts could go down under the amount. He doesn't even understand basic principles of finance. But this was the man that decided that we owed money and my client committed fraud. We are going to tap every single one. One hour, the attorney general and that judge realized quickly that they had no idea what they were talking about. We came to an agreement that everything would be the same. We would modify terms. And that was it. This is where your top pay dollars are going, America. Right here. Witch hunt after witch hunt. President Trump's company was worth more in that case than it is now. And now what? We're here because of something that happened when he was in the White House that wasn't even wrong. It was not wrong. You hire lawyers to solve problems, so you solve those problems and you pay them. That's it. This is a joke. It's an affront to the American Constitution. It's an affront to our judicial system. And it's an affront to every lawyer that cares about their license, that cares about what is right and wrong. I am sick of coming in front of the press and saying this, but you have to because you people need to understand what is going on. God forbid you put an accounting thing in for legal counsel. It's legal counsel. And now our taxpayer dollars, my time, our attorney's fees are all here because they're afraid of 2024. And you know what? They should be because the American people are not stupid. They see what's going on. Thank you. It serves as a rebuttal to what appears as a politically motivated assault. The defense can be customized to focus on personal accountability genuineness, and the ludicrousness of a politically driven vendetta. Alina Haba's statements were construed as championing fundamental principles, constitutional rights, and ethical standards, expressing discontent with the unjust attack. The inquiries into witch hunts and affronts are examined as societal absurdities and a quest for significance in a seemingly capricious and unjust system. There's frustration over biased legal procedures and media representations. One can empathize with the frustration and unease by interpreting Alina Habba's statements. As a commentary on the absurdities of societal norms and the lack of coherent meaning, there's significant public interest in equitable legal proceedings, Donald Trump's defense, and awareness regarding the misallocation of taxpayer funds for political motives.